good boy. A good boy. If you ask anybody else hands, we will tell you that we always need new volunteers and we welcome people to join the program. We have a lot of volunteers, probably 80 to 100 people in here per week volunteering and helping us out. Some people come in for an hour, some come for several hours or several days a week. It's the most popular thing volunteers do is socializing with animals, as you can imagine, but there are a lot of other things you might not think of immediately, like cleaning, kennel enrichment, making sure they have fresh water and toys and blankets, everything that they need to be comfortable. We've been volunteering just over three years. We started the old shelter and then moved to the new shelter. We got started volunteering because we got bored one summer and we just wanted something to do. So we just went to a class and then we've been volunteering ever since. When I come in to volunteer, um, mostly I do uh, adoptions. Um, I'm one of the volunteers that does help in the adoption area. Um, I also do uh, several of the off-site events, the, the big events, uh, Posner Park, uh, Bon Appetit, those type of events. My favorite part about volunteering is probably playing with the kitties. I started volunteering shortly after moving to Topeka. I'm a professor in the English department at Washburn University, and I've always enjoyed working with animals um, and volunteering for animal-oriented organizations in the communities I've lived in, so it was just a natural fit to come and volunteer at Helping Hands. I've been volunteering at the shelter approaching two years now, and um, I come in usually once or twice a week. I do uh, various tasks. I hand out grass to the cats, which they very much enjoy eating. I kind of know which cats like the grass and which ones ignore it, because you get to know them over time. Um, I do the census, where I make sure that all of the animals are in the right place and accounted for. Um, I sometimes do additional special events, so when we take animals off-site, I do dog handling. Um, and I also have recently started doing an assessment of the cats where it um, figures out kind of their personality, it's called their felinality. Um, so what, you know, how bold are they, how social are they, what kind of home would be an ideal environment for them. Um, and I particularly do that with a lot of our long timer cats so that we can learn more about them and get them into a good home. If you like working with animals, lots of opportunities, but if you like working with people, you can also give tours, you can train new volunteers, work at our reception desk, help in our lost and found, etc, etc. There are anything that you have an interest in, whether it's photography or training or public relations, there is an opportunity to help us because we need help in all of those areas.